File management includes moving files and copying files from one place to another. There are quite a few different techniques you can use to accomplish this task. I'm going to go ahead and open a folder so that I can demonstrate some of these techniques. So inside of my how-to videos, I'm going to go to my file management scripts and you can see that I have my different scripts for the different videos and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the move command and so on the ribbon right up here okay you see this button that says move to when you use this button it will move this file from this location to a new location so I'm going to go ahead and click move to and inside of this area you'll see all of the most free frequently accessed folders that you use and such but if you don't see the one that you want you can go down here to where it says choose location or you can just click on the one that you want so I'm gonna go ahead and just choose desktop you can see that the file has been removed from this folder and if I minimize down right here on my desktop is where the file went. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a control Z, which will do undo and it brings the file back. Um, the copy to command, if I were to select the file and choose copy to, I can again choose where I want the file to go. So it's the same concept. The only difference is the move takes it from this folder location, moves it to another place, whereas the copy leaves the original and then makes a copy that you can save to another location. So that is one technique that you can use to move or to copy. And by the way, the word move is just like the word cut. Like if you're used to cutting and pasting, you will also notice on the ribbon that you have the old fashioned cut and paste right here and you have the copy button right here. So these are the ones that we had in previous versions and um, in the more recent versions, we have these buttons here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the file and I'm gonna choose cut and you can see that it's kind of dimmed out there and I'm going to go back to this how to windows click inside this area and I'm going to paste it so I'm going to click paste and you can see that took it from the other location and moved it into this location so I'm going to go back and now I'm back in file scripts remember the control Z will do an undo and it brings the file back for me um, now, again, if I want to do the copy, it's the same concept. I can select the file, choose copy, go to the location that I want it to be in, and paste. Copy will duplicate the file. So we've talked about cut and paste, and we've talked about copy and paste, and we've talked about using the copy to and the move to feature. The next method I'm going to show you is simply the right click method. All you have to do is right click on a file and you'll see that you have a cut option or a copy option. Same concept, if you cut you're taking it from this location and you're going to paste it in a new location. So I'm going to go ahead and for this one I'll do a right click and then I'm going to choose, oops sorry, I'm going to choose a right click and I'm going to select copy. I'm going to navigate to my flash drive and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose paste. And you can see that it pastes it right inside of that folder. So you have a few other um, options. You have keyboard shortcuts like Control X will cut a file, Control C will copy a file, and you also have some dragging and dropping capabilities. So for instance, if I want this file to be in this folder, I could simply click on it and drag it and drop it. And once I get on top of the folder, I can let go. And that's going to move that into that folder. So that is called a drag and drop. There's also a copy and drop option, and this one's just a little bit more difficult, but the way that it works is you select the file, you press and hold your control key, and then you click and you drag, and when you let off, it makes a copy of the file. 
I've plugged in my flash drive and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to select a couple of files and move those files to another location. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first file and this file here and this file here. And if I want to send this to my flash drive, I just right click and send to and I can choose to send it to my flash drive. And that's going to make a copy of these files and place them on the flash drive. Remember, if I want to select everything, I can right click, I can choose send to, and then I can select the flash drive and move them all at once as well. You can also move whole folders. So if I select the file management scripts folder, I can right click, send to, and select the flash drive. So now you have the skills to be able to select multiple files and copy multiple files, cut multiple files, and send multiple files to your flash drive.